Hello, my beautiful friends and some ugly trolls. What do you get? I am going to dye my hair. And I can never redo the first hair dye video. Like, boys, that was really spontaneous. And now this one's kind of like, oh, everybody wants me to do a hair dyeing video because it's so funny. But I don't feel that fucking funny. You know? Let's bend over. <laughs> Show you how funny I am. <laughs> All right. So I bought this over to Shoppers. It's L'Oreal Perry 400. Original dark brown. And it's a mousse. Um, it says freshly infused multi-tonal color for up to six weeks of mirror shine. Perfect gray coverage. <laughs> oh, who knew? So anyways, um, I'm going to do that. And I'm considering after doing the bottoms red. Like that ombre. But who knows? I might just save this for another time. Right now I must do brown. So it says take your bottle of mousse and shake it 20 times. Remove the cap and put on the squirty thing. And don't put it on too much of an incline because it could have gas and blow up on you. Or something like that. Shake it again and apply it in your hair. Part your hair, shake again, shake again. So I guess it's basically it shakes it the whole fucking time. Well, let's see what happens. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifty, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Oh. I was gonna do one for good measure. Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. Okay, yeah, make sure this locks in both sides. Oh fuck, how do I know it's locked in? Okay, there you go. So shake again, it says. Alright, see what happens. I love trying different stuff. I don't give a fuck if it don't work. What the fuck do I care? I'll just go dye it again or I'll go to the salon eventually. <gasps> I got my nails done. I gotta show you my nails later too. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about my nails. Love to get my nails done. <laughs> well, basically this is what she does, I suppose. Jesus, it can't be that hard. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to pretend I'm a fucking hairdresser. God damn it, I forgot the fucking Vaseline. Well, now what's I going to do? It's too late. I can't go back. Who says you can't come home? So as soon as I thought about dyeing my hair, I start singing Dixie Chicks. I was like, no, no, we gotta have a new song for this video. But I can't take another one stuck in my head. Jesus. Any time you gotta shake that butt? So anyway, and that's that. This is a dark brown. And see, I thought it'd be nice if I put the red on the bottom, right? Get off my face, you slut. Yeah. So I, I've been really thinking a lot about all the drama. And I think it's good. It's healthy. Drama is healthy. Even though nobody wants drama and they should never encourage it. Um, if it has to come your way, fucking embrace it. Don't be a psycho, but just be like, all right, I guess people love me then. They love me. They hate me. They love to hate me. They hate to love me. Guess my fucking arsehole is what they can do. I'm going to try and get it in a bit more. I already got the ombre look really, don't I? From all the colors. <laughs> when your hair goes out, oh, fuck! <laughs> when your hair goes out now, just say, no, that's not roots. I get the ombre. <laughs> that damn when I was down in Mexico. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, went to the dentist this morning, and I did not want to go. And you guys know, people who knows me knows I can't stand appointments. I freaks out, has anxiety attack, hides in, under the blankets. But uh, my husband forced me to go. <laughs> I'm so grateful you did, babe. <laughs> because Liam and Eric got their checkup. Serenity was right disappointed she didn't have an appointment. I was like, mate, you had yours. Yours isn't due yet. <laughs> you know, what kid is like, I want to go. <laughs> but she has good teeth. So when you have good teeth, why wouldn't you want to go? <laughs> good news all the time. Gets free toothbrush. My dentist is right generous, too. 
Give me two tubes of Sensodyne stuff, Colgate brand. And uh, floss, and special floss for my fake tooth. And, uh, oh my. Just a fucking loot bag full of shit. And they're so nice to me, and they're so gentle, and they know I got fears about dentists and stuff. And This dentist is amazing. It's Dr. Mark Sarkany. Sarkany Dental Clinic out in Byron, in London, Ontario. And uh, maybe next time I'll get a free electrical toothbrush if I shout out to him. Right? But anyways, uh, yeah, and his dental hygienist, Lisa, I loves her. She's so personable. And she got Newfie friends, so we're always talking about Newfie stuff. And I told her all about Crazy Newfie Mom. She's like, no way! I was like, yeah. First she taught, I meant, this was a girl I was watching. I was like, no, this, that's me. And she's like, is it? And I was like, yeah. She's so sweet. But anyways, yeah. So, I got my teeth all cleaned. They look in rough shape right now because that old fucking goddamn varnish they puts on them. That shit is awful. <laughs> Honest to God, it's like taking the tape and sticking it all over your teeth and then fucking taking the plastic part off and leaving the adhesive part on. Isn't that? Then your teeth are right gross and gets in the back of your mouth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Then she had to do x-rays and I gagged and gagged over that. And I was like, Jesus, I'm not a very good wife. She done some laughing at that too. <laughs> I was like, my God, I says anything, don't I? I, and I don't mean to, but I just don't care, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. Then I had to get impressions taken for a mount guard, because I get so much anxiety, I got my teeth grinded down. So it needs a mount guard. And getting impressions for a mount guard is fucking gross. Blech. I urged over that one, too. I had to go to my happy place, which was back home, on the beach, reading a book, lying down on the beach. <laughs> Because it's like this really goopy, cementy stuff, like pasty, I don't know. Oh. And she got to put it in this metal thing, and then the metal thing's got to go in your mouth, right, to take an impression. Dear Jesus, I just about died. Eric wouldn't let him do nothing. He got a little bit of a look in there. He says, it, like, it looks good from what he can tell, but Dr. Mark is like, you know what, when they're little, he doesn't like to put a fear into them. Um, unless there's a big problem. And he only got the polish for teeth. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> and then he was on my lap while I was getting my teeth done. And then Liam was up on my lap. I was like, Lord Jesus, I can't even get my teeth clean in peace. But uh, the staff there is amazing. Melissa and Jessica and Lisa. I can't tell. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Lisa to clean my teeth. A little bit of Melissa to babysit the boys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and uh, I love some there. So I got my teeth cleaned. I do have a couple things I got to get repaired. A few cavities and some receding stuff. And, uh, I might get my front teeth straightened out a bit. Like, make it look like they're straight. You just kind of builds them up. Like that teeth there, that's fake one. Uh-uh. And it's just made out of... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was made of. It was not a veneer. But anyways, that's what we did this morning. Then I brought the kids to school. Keeps forgetting to shake it. And I uh, had a talk with the teachers. I love my kids' teachers. They get the best teachers in the world. And I'm really starting to feel like I'm making some good, positive changes in my life for me. Not for anybody else. I'm never going to change my core being. I am who I am this year. Same person I was last year. I obviously do change a lot of, I mean, as we get older, we change, but I mean, underneath it all. I just want to love, be loved, be accepted, accept other people, help people, get help for myself, for my family, and that's all that really matters to me. And if that's not your goal in life, well, just fuck off. Go fucking buy an island somewhere. You don't need to be mean to people. It just sickens me. And stop using people. If you got no money, go get a job. If you can't get a job, go to welfare. If you can't get to welfare, go to CBC News. Jesus. Stop trying to use and abuse people who are hardworking people themselves. And just because I got a fucking following of 12 or so thousand people don't mean I want to be fucking on the internet asking for money for every blow Joe and Dick and Tom and Harry. Especially when I don't know the circumstances. And then I get fucking bitten ass. And I'm not doing that to my fans and my viewers. My friends. 
And if you got questions about mental health, I'll answer them based on my experience only. I have no education in mental health other than life experience. And I can't tell you what to do. I can advise you to go to the doctor and see a therapist and love yourself and never give up. Because, boys, I've been suicidal. I've been at the bottom of the barrel. I've been in bed covered up and thinking I wish I could scratch all my skin off. Yeah, sick, crazy fucking shit. So anything you can think of, I probably tied it up. But the point is that don't mean there's something wrong with you. That means you have an illness. There's a difference. Something wrong with you means you're... I don't think anybody got anything wrong with them. <laughs> I says it all the time. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Like something wrong with you to me is like you got a cold or a flu or a sore throat or a toothache. Like that's wrong. We got to fix it. And mental illness is wrong too and we got to fix it. But um, I just don't like to stereotype around it. Like that it's your fault that there's something wrong with you. Because if you have a headache, nobody's going to say it's your fault you got headaches. You probably caused those. But if you had a mental illness, so it's, oh, you're making that up, or you're just foolish, just go do something, don't be so lazy. And, and it goes on and on and on, and I'll fight for mental illness till the day I die. And I'll help people as much as I can. But you're not fucking walking all over me anymore, so you can fly to fuck. And I'm not talking about you, the good ones. I'm talking about you, the fucking assholes, and the cocksuckers, and the cunts. Fuck off, you're not wanted here. I never started this so I could be fucking famous. That's just a fucking bonus. <laughs> I just wanted to be have fun and be heard and get help for myself. I just want to be a good mom, love my kids. If you love your kids and you do your best, you are a good mom. You are good enough. Other than that, I don't know what to tell you. You know, we're always there fucking sitting in the minivan fucking, you know, thinking how can we be better? We suck. No, we don't suck. Society fucking sucks, you judgmental pricks. Listen, there's only one judge, and that's God. So chill and let my father do his job. Peace out. Yeah, I think the fumes are getting to me. That's probably good enough, hey? You can't answer me, though, so how do I know? <laughs> Anyways, uh, what did I say to do with this snap eyes when you're done with it? Replace the diffuser applicator with the protective cap and clean the applicator well and you can keep this for four to six weeks apparently it resettles and he just shakes it back up I guess I don't fucking know it was $18.99 and it had on sale for $9.50 so that tells me that it's not everybody's favorite colors <laughs> or it could be going outdated or something soon too but uh, I was like what whatever like I'll try it. I'll try anything. I should get a bottle of wine today. Or I mean for tonight. I don't day drink. Nobody day drinks. Except on St. Patrick's Day, May 2 for weekend, Canada Day, your birthday, Christmas Day, uh, Tibbs Eve, uh, Valentine's Day maybe, you know. Um, Halloween day. Can't go trick or treat unless you're loads. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I hope you know who's on joking. I hate having to say I'm joking because that ruins the joke. But my paranoia has gone through the fucking roof, boss. So, there you go. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd rushes in. Oh, my nails. <gasps> These are for love and hate. Happy Valentine's Day, cunts. There's an old man sitting next to me making love to his tonic engine. Um, that song came on the radio when I was bringing the kids to school. <laughs> and Serenity said, I love this Newfie song. <laughs> I fucking died. I said, this is a Newfie song. <laughs> well, I said, a lot of Newfies likes it. Now, nah, Manja, let's see what the fuck. Man, I can't do not with my nails on. I'm right stupid. 10.50, so 11.30 on, well, 11.20, take this out. It says 30 minutes, and I want to make sure it takes. You notice how I'm always making fun of that dry shampoo? Well, not always, but I have before. This morning I got up, brought Brian to work. I had tons of time to get a shower and get all the lunches ready and that. 
but I was too tired. Like I've been pretty stressed the past few days. And uh, so I lied down, I got up 7.30, had to be out there for quarter after eight. And we were like the Jeezlers running around the house. And I was like, well, I guess I'm not getting a shower. And I was like, fuck, I wish I had some of that dry shampoo. <laughs> Greasy head of hair on me. Oh my boys, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What do you do, boys? What do you do? When you feel like the woman or the mother who lived in her shoes. What do you do, boys? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Stand up to bed without any stew. <laughs> yeah, it's grand time in the bus. Open the grand time here. The video's too long though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to edit it with my grand video editing skills. <laughs> I'm gonna do that laugh buddy does. <laughs> Remember that one? Okay, so I can't do it like he can. But fuck, he's hilarious. Def Feller, Zach Galifianakis or something. I fucking love him. Him, Will Ferrell, all that crowd. All that crowd, my son, I know is damn. So anyways. Washed it off too. And uh, I gotta wait 30 minutes, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and come back. Because then this video would be like a fucking hour long. Who's gonna watch a fucking hour long hair dyeing video? <laughs> Sandy, I can't do it at all. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go work on my Zach Galifianakis life. And now uh, I'll be back after you, sons of a bitches. But I was a froze to date. I had the bathroom window open to try to air out the place. But see, what am I supposed to do now? If I'm gonna put the red in the bottom, I shouldn't put that conditioner in. That'll repel the red, right? But my hair feels like so stiff. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I should just leave the brown in for a few days and then do the red another time. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, fuck the hair jars downstairs. Hold on. So I did put the conditioner in. I'm just going to leave it brown for maybe a day or two. And then I think it'll be nice to put the red on the bottom. But I'll wait and see for that. And it's no good for me to keep doing the video with the hair dryer on there. Jesus. You don't better hear nothing. I got some gross shit in my mouth from that varnish to puts on your teeth. <laughs> now, and that gross. You probably throw up seeing that. But that's what they puts on. They paints it on as the extra fluoride treatment. I can't help it. Anyways. Okay. Um, after my hair is blow dried, I'll show you the end result. Ta-da! I'm all done. I got lipstick on my teeth. Looks like I'm a vampire. Anyways, uh, so this is the dark, darkest brown I think it was called. It almost looks that like ombre. Don't know. <laughs> but I didn't put no other color in there yet. Although I didn't put as much dye in the bottom part. Might just leave it like this for a while. I like different looks, hey? Plus, I can touch up my roots with the mousse, which is really nice. Anyways, I know this was no foil video, but uh, <laughs> I thought I'd make you a video anyways. Who cares? And uh, it's Friday. And I'm looking forward to a glass of wine and just relax. And just feeling mentally healthy. It's a good feeling. It's not, that don't mean I got all my ducks in a row. I do not. I still stress over everything, but I just know that I'm doing the right things. I'm taking all the right steps, trying my hardest, and it's going to work out. Like, there's no way it can't. There's no way it can't work out. <laughs> Isn't that a good saying? There's no way it can't work out. <laughs> okay, if it don't work out, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to delete this fucking video. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This is not me at all. <laughs> I feel more fucked up right now than I ever have. <laughs> I am actually feeling more uh, focused. But I still got lots of issues to dig through. Just like the rest of you fucking looney tunes. 
Anyway, I lost my hair. I really, really loves it. I got Vaseline all over this side for fuck's sakes. But uh, look how cool that is. I love my nails. I love my hair. You know what? You know what this is called? This is called self-care. If you don't do it, you should. And if you do, do it good. And if you don't like it, oh well. If you don't like other people to have it, fuck off. Ha, ha, ha.